Hi, I'm Mike Colt, an electrical instructor since 1975, and I've been teaching instructors for many years. Here's a question I'll cover in my Train a Trainer. Mike, how do you maintain your position of authority as an instructor if you're challenged by a student in the classroom who may or may not know more about a particular topic than you do? Is it ever okay to say, I don't know? I always say I don't know. For a fact, I don't know everything. And before I even start a class, on every class I start, I say this. I say this. Do not believe anything I tell you. No matter what I say today, I want you to challenge me. I'm going to be making mistakes in this class. And hopefully I don't make that many mistakes. But if I do make a mistake, if you catch it, I want you to call me out on that. Now, there are people in every single classroom that is a real expert in a very small area of topic that I might not be an expert in, whether it be wind power or solar power or electric vehicles. There might be some topic that I'm not really the expert in and they know more about it than I do. What do I do? Well, one, I have to evaluate quickly as to whether or not this person really is truly more knowledgeable than me. And if it is, I want to utilize them. Let's say the person's name is uh, Bill. Bill Brooks is a person on solar power, which is a brilliant guy. And I've had Phil Simmons in my class, who's another fantastic person. So I've had some really, Fred Hartwell. What do you do when you have really smart people in your class? You know what you do? You use them, you maximize them. I'd say, Phil, listen, what are your thoughts on that? Phil, how would you approach it? Fred, you know, Bill Brooks, whatever it is. So you utilize those people in the class because they have information and you might be off base and they might not want to say something to you, but you want to say, Listen, I want to bring you in the fold. Don't be intimidated by something. Now, if you don't have anybody in the class that knows and you don't know, I usually tell people, I don't know. Now, I've been doing this since 1975. So we're talking, we're in 2013 right now. So we're talking 38 years I've been teaching. I'll do a seminar next week. Somebody will ask me a question in a topic that I've never been asked before. In all my years, never been asked before. And in that particular case, I can just say, you know what? I really don't know. I'm not going to give an opinion, but email me that information that you're asking for, and I will find somebody who will know. So the best approach is if you don't know, let them know you don't know. And if you have the resources to be able to locate the information, or then, then ask them to email you. Don't write it out yourself. Don't chase the answer. If they don't email you their question, then you don't worry about it. But if they do and you ask them for the information, then follow up because that might be something that you should know. And then you learn. You keep growing every day. Hopefully this helps you as an instructor. God bless.